Hello, and welcome back to Endless Mode. My name's Captain Emoji. Next to me is Mysterious Gamer X. We've got Vuntor the Bard and Isaac. If you're curious why I did the whole intro, it's because everyone has food in their mouth. Except for me and Isaac. And Isaac, well, he's working on it. I don't have anything <laughs> in my mouth. You didn't grab a snack? I thought everyone grabbed a snack. Yeah. And we were, we are back with the Adventures of Fashionista Velvet. We're gonna go stab some demons for being gross. I figured it out. She's going for like, she's going for like a vampirella kind of look. There we go. She's going on an epic quest to find the next stained concert. <laughs> uh. <laughs> traps? Is it traps? Two of them. This way. Guards. Uh, not traps. Did you hear? The path the so, well, they look an awful lot like the three main characters in uh, Fire Emblem mobile game. So, oh, oh they do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it, Fire Emblem Heroes? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can see it. <clears throat> Which that game is awesome, by the way. I like it. I mean, Man, it's awful useful these guys to be talking about exactly the things that we need to hear about. <laughs> well. Hey, Steve, you ever, like, think about your own mortality? Like, what happens if some of these demons get out and wreck our world? I don't, I don't know, know, but I, I hope they don't use the third, the, the sub-basement beneath the third room you can only get into via the secret entrance. We got all of our crazy super tech in there. <laughs> yeah, but I heard it needs a password. What was the password again? Oh, yeah, no, it was, it was apricot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. This password out loudly when it's just the two of us in this room. This isn't going to be easy. <laughs> then we'll need reinforcements of our own. <laughs> no, we can really use, like, in a company memo or something. You should be on this floor. <laughs> you plan on involving the other prisoners? We're going to bust out the other prisoners. I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Except for that sweet greatsword. It wasn't great at all. It was an alright sword. <laughs> it was a good sword at best. Eh, sword. See, I probably just can't go up there, can I? She probably tried to lash it to her arm with those bandages, and it didn't work out, so she's like, I can't use this. <laughs> I don't have enough belts to strap this to my arm. If just, I can, if you I can, hold it with the handle. I don't have enough belts to strap this to my arm. Handles are for peasants. <laughs> I was a peasant, but now I am not. You know, I could just let you go and you could teach me how to do this battle skill. Huh, they might be considering it. <laughs> considering they just sort of stood there and took it. Was there a stop time mechanic there, or was that really just tutorial town? It's just tutorial town. Okay. We're finished here. Let's go. It's too bad nobody can play the other party member that's following you around right now. Mm. I think it's because she's a sock puppet. Yeah. <clears throat> Calling it now. Crazy hallucination after three years of isolation. It's not fair. So it's I weird to has... play the Wild Accusations game too, but I know <clears throat> all the answers already. Ooh. You know what's weird? Is she doesn't have enough fabric for a shirt, but she's got sh leather shoulder pauldrons. Uh, you should let out King from Tekken. He'll be a valuable ally. You know, I played the Tekken game where you can do the whole uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up sort of deal. He was alright. The game they attached to their objectively worse game, yeah, it was pretty good. We're getting off this island. What the hell? You bad. Bah. Tell me all about that in the comments. I mean, it was no Capcom Cross Tekken. Oh! Mm. Neither was Capcom Cross Tekken. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? But as I mean, any true fighting game aficionado would know, the best one was Tatsunoko. That's, that's Tatsunoko versus true. Capcom was great. We have to play that at some point. Well, Try Ryu in it, I'll play it. Melchior. 
I won't force you. So next fighting game is Smash. Let's see, that's a bar. Oh, there we go. That's a bar to entry. That would have got Smash has Ryu in it. I've got Ryu and Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Really? And Bayonetta. Yeah. And a whole bunch of Fire Emblem characters I have absolutely no knowledge about. Me. <clears throat> Ah, uh, none of them stuck around. No new party members. Oh. Just a bunch of chumps. I told you, we'll use any tool I need. She called them tools. Yeah. No, here is this guys? quest mark. I don't know, random schmucks. Probably in for. Uh, You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate Tax the exorcists. Vision. They're all gonna die like dogs <clears throat> or goblins. This Abbey. I'm a tutorial character. Look at me. I'm a goblin. Exorcists of the Abbey join forces with the Kingdom of Midgard. They're merciless. You know what I am? I'm enough hit points. Or I'm enough XP to get to level two. And here are the lucky ones. Sure. Until they get thanks for the info. So you'll like this obscure bit of video game trivia. On the very no first RPG maker, the preloaded game was a generic RPG where you played the goblins. Yep, uh, Gobly's Adventure. I still have that game somewhere. I gotta say, I have no idea how you could make that game in RPG Maker without losing your mind. <clears throat> Yeah. It was not an easy task to use the original one. Uh, I hear the later ones are much better, though. Like, you can make some legit games on there. Mm -hmm. I have no part in this story. He knows it's a game. That's the Red Mage. <laughs> you can make a fighting game maker. They made one. Yeah. Back in the same era as the first RPG maker. It was a lot easier to make a fighting game because really all it was was plugging in move sets and making your generic dudes. <coughs> Bless you. Zoom tight. <laughs> Gotta do the bears. Can't let any of those tarnished <clears throat> bronze coins go away. Gotta buy your way out of you here somehow. certainly could. What's this? Oh, oh man. Oops. That guy had the plush accommodations with shoes and a big chest. How do I get to the room for Keep his shoes. How do you get to... Oh, my gosh. How do we equip those sweet boots? There we go. I need slightly better boots. Were they actually better? Yeah. Nice. Master skill. Hey, look. Sturdy belt. I think you have a few of those. So, yeah. <clears throat> As you... Equipment has a master skill. And if you get enough grade... While using that piece of equipment, you will learn that skill forever. Neat. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance was like that. So you could be like a paladin in the that used to be a ninja and you learned dual wielding. A ninja! <clears throat> it was pretty good. Throw an Excalibur for the win! A ninja! Uh, hello. <laughs> Is this her? Is this my girl? Like yeah. Suddenly, from paradise down to hell. No worse, a grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why she I'm not feeling well. It's her thing. I like it. And you <clears throat> are? Can I stab her or? You know you can't stab my Magilu. You threatened you no less than forty-six times. Than She's uh. At least he's a Magi for short. No, Ma, like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Do, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. <sighs> I 
is like I mean, she's known her all of 15 seconds and she's already irritated me. I feel like she's going to be the party Lena Inverse. Yeah. this unfeeling mage, I will wreck everything. Well, there's a reason she was in prison. <clears throat> I can't believe she's... Sn this is no ordinary person. She said she's a powerful... Did she have a Moloch? No, I didn't sense Moloch. Then she's an ordinary magic if she tries to trick me again. I'll crush her. Be done with it. In this one already. Yep. Dang it. I kind of figured that you had gone in this one because there wasn't a cutscene. <laughs> that seems to be our cue. Sage. Well, you called it. We're we're collecting bits of plants. They were stat. Oh, I figured it would have been like a yeah, basic Sammy. healing item. Tarnished silver coins. Chipped copper coins. Oh, man. I take it they're worth an amount of money, but not the amount they're supposed to be? Because <laughs> they're use messed them, up. Use them to upgrade buttons. Oh. Huh. I like the guys who are like, oh, we could try to escape. Why would we? I'm guessing they saw how everyone fared during the fight that got them here, and said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I oh, yeah. furries. <laughs> I do find it interesting how chill they are now that they're out, though. Get to get out of the cell, stretch for a bit, but I know how this ends. I take it they don't say anything super interesting when we talk to them? No, they don't have a quest marker, so I haven't been bothering. <clears throat> mm. I didn't talk to them for the quest markers. Well then. <laughs> Man, you barely play RPG son. <clears throat> I mean, you get through to the end of them, but... You try and play through without getting any on yet. I think might be what we're getting at. Look, look. I'm just being in character. Well, it's all I mean, you're not wrong. Vengeance against Arturius for doing that thing he just did. Objectively making the world a better place. Yeah, that. And we will punish him for it. I have no time to talk to <laughs> werewolves and tiger men. I have to get on to collecting cat souls so I can unlock new hats. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. It's part of nonsense where you literally do that. <laughs> this looks like one of those fun areas that's going to involve a lot of cutscenes and exciting battles. So we're going to we leave off the episode for now. Yeah, I think it'll be a good way to intro the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Next time on Endless Mode. Catch you later.